so the next thing is I will now come into the add wages right here just double click on it if the combo box gets a zero zero then what should happen what will happen is I would like inner city let's see no yeah inner city let's go for okay we might as well just say right up here we say inner city I guess I'm right inner city equals double okay I think this variable is wrong okay, that's the right name inner city dot okay post double and the name of that particular component right here this one right click on it and find the name that's the name txt in a city that's right come back in here and just paste that straight in there and enter yeah and just end it with that okay that should be and that is should be get test okay that is correct so the next one is I might as well just copy that dump it right there and the variable is called basic wage put that in there and followed by open uh, overtime overtime now what are the names of those components right there this one is called basic wage and this one let me just look at the name okay over time so let's go back in the code and this becomes that and uh, why these become over time there so what i've just done is whatever whatever amount is entered into any of these component right here is stored into these variables okay so that's out of the way now all right okay the next thing is we need to add up all of this so let's maybe i should declare another variable so i'll just declare one more i will call that variable gross copy that just paste it change this one to gross there so this gross we will add up all of these variables right here gross equals inner city itself plus basic wage and add that together plus this and there okay now we now need to output the total of everything into gross right here so let's find out the name of this the name of this is called j lbl gross so jlbl gross we have to set the total value into jsbs gross so but before that we need to convert as follows so let me just paste that in there and comment it out or just say set set text okay i will comment this out for now and before then we need to convert this so let's say string let's come so we then say string gross pay equals string format this very gross this variable right there variable is then assigned here so we get the gross pay copy it has to be converted to string because it's only string I can go into the into that very component label right there okay that's that done so if I run this very program now let me just run it and see if it works and if it works we can then use whatever we got in here to code whatever selection is made in here okay so let's just save compile and run all right so let me enter some amount in there okay so let's add that up let's see that's our overtime add and i expect the overall answer right there so let's click okay so if we add that up that's about right that is correct the other thing we need to do is to convert this to 
pound sign so which we can always get sorted yeah we can do that later on all right so that is sorted really now i can just copy this let's convert it to the pound sign we're going to go right down here right here underneath here and do that here just say um, um yeah let's put a plus there okay let's see if it's going to work all right whatever okay so add yeah that is fine that's working as expected okay so the next thing now is to now work out tax pension student loan and so on okay let's do that and that's based on the selection that is made here all right okay since we know it's working we might as well just deal with the tax part of it so the very first tax i'll deal with is i, mean, I might as well just declare variable a zero zero variable a three zero and variable b four zero c five zero so let's try let's try out the very first variable so we say a zero zero equals gross gross we multiply gross by let's say the tax rate is about nine percent divide by 100 right there enter your semicolon here and that is supposed let's enter the division sign then we now say we now need to convert that to string okay let's copy all of this copy paste that right in there and let's call that total paid tax paid yeah, tax paid and the tax paid is meant to be a zero zero that is the tax paid now we want this value inside j l b l tax dot set text whatever we set in that's it right there correct and now let's copy this and convert it to a pound sign right here there okay so let's try this out so if i run the program now let's say let I might as well just build and run if i say let's say that is that's supposed to be the wages per month oh sorry that should be the inner city waiting and the wages is about that and over time there so if i click on add wages that's what you get you see that can you guys see that so the total tax paid is this so we need to now deduct pension student loan and the ni payments so let's get that done as well okay so we have the gross the tax sorted we need to sort the following one two three four five six seven all right so we, we're actually making a progress so let's go back okay now now that i've got that working let me declare some more variables so that'll be variable deduction variable pension variable student loan there let me see what else is left okay i'm variable ni payment ni payment there now if you notice you you can notice some underlines there is because those variables have not been used so right here so let's say variable deduction equals we need to deduct gross minus a okay so when we deduct that and we now say let's use pension pension equals deduction let's say the pension paid is approximately 12 percent multiplied by 12 divided by 100 and let's enter close bracket right there so deduction wrong spelling there so the deduction is sorted as well now we now need to convert pension to 
something else let's convert it to string so right here we we'll say pension paid pension pension paid and that will be pension right here there now right underneath here we now say j b l l b l pension dot set text right there and the text we're setting is pension paid copy that paste that in there press enter i'm just going to copy this and convert it to pound sign as well paste it underneath there pound sign plus there so let's save compile and run let's check this out okay now this inner city wage within and the wages and overtime add wages as you guys can see gross gross pay the tax paid so far pension pay pension paid and now we now need a student loan payment and ni payment as well and that will be all for that so i'm just going to copy these two codes and just change it around so end the program okay so we now need out of the student loan now that we know or the amount of pension this guy is paying per month so let's go for student loan right there maybe right in here as well the student loan will be somewhere here because we need to know the total here and the total here yeah that's right so let's work that out now then right here let's say student loan i think that's in capital yeah that's right might as well copy it copy it yeah paste it there equals pension pension plus yeah we're adding this up right that will give me the student loan now we now need to deduct so let's go for student loan as well student loan we need to deduct student loan equals gross minus student loan okay and uh, I think we can end up and say student loan again multiplied by student loan let's put that in a bracket right there multiply by let's supposing you paying about 5.7 percent and you divide by 100 that's your student loan there so that's fine okay so we also need to get that formatted so we need to get that formatted as let's just copy all of these and just change it around there and right here we say we call that student loan student loan paid and we bring student loan right here then the spell and copy and just paste it there right that is the student loan then this would be the student loan payment copy paste that in here okay we now need to know the name of this very student loan box right click check out the name okay jlbl student loan so come in here and that becomes j lbl student loan just copy it and paste this there and this become enter the pound sign yeah so we've worked out the student loan as well so tax is done pension is done student loan is done so let me just show you guys how the codes are looking right now you see that that is in the hard wages button right there that's for the very first if statement once that is sorted the rest can be easily tackled alright so once I do this the rest will just be copy and paste because it's gonna take very long to finish that right so let me run the program now run okay inner city waiting wages and overtime okay so hard wages there tax paid pension and student loan pay for the month 
okay the next thing is to finish up this and add up everything in here right there we are making a progress so let's get this one sorted exit okay for the ni payment let's add up everything so right here i have my ni payment equals student loan and following so just copy that paste that right there enter the plus sign there and that's it we've added everything together now we now need to find out what this guy paid in a month for is or our ni ni equals ni multiplied by let's say he's paying about 4.2 percent divided by 100 and let's close it that's how much he pays for his national insurance number okay now we know it's ni that is out of the way we now need to deduct that from this very one okay that's how much he pays anyway okay there's something missing this was supposed to be ni right here 